Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to use Screen Scraper to scrape games on Botticera. Before we get started with this step-by-step -step tutorial, I recommend going to Screen Scraper's website, which is www.screenscraper.fr and creating a free account on there. There's a small tab in the top right corner, which says register. Go ahead and click that register tab. And you'll be able to get started with a free account. They're gonna give you a login credential that you're going to put into Botticera in order to scrape from Screen Scraper. So let's get started with this tutorial. I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get all your games scraped and look in pristine on Botticera. All right, so before we get started scraping games with Screen Scraper, we need to first make sure that we're connected to the internet. So you wanna make sure that you establish a Wi-Fi connection. Without internet, none of this is going to work. So once you've established your Wi-Fi connection, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the main menu. With a gamepad controller, you can hit the start button, or with a keyboard, you can hit the space bar. That's gonna bring up the main menu. And then we're gonna go down and select scrape. So once we're in scrape, you can see here the top is going to be our scraping source. So it says scrape from, we have screen scraper by default selected. If we went left or right, you can see we have some other options to scrape, um, but screen scraper is the best one and obviously gives you, you can tell from the list here, the most options. So um, dropping down, it's going to give us some options to customize this. And the first one's gonna be image source, so you can do screenshot, that's the way that I like to go. There's a couple other options on here, but I always leave it on screenshot. Uh, box source, I actually like to go with box 2D. There's a couple other options, box 3D. Um, I like the 2D one. And that's just gonna show you the uh, box art in the bottom left corner when this is all done. Uh, logo source, I leave it on wheel. There's also uh, marquee here or none. So I just leave it on wheel. And now we have some options we can enable or disable. This is all depending on what you're looking to scrape. So here we have ratings. This is just gonna give you a one to five star rating in the bottom corner for each title. I like to have that. And now we have scrape videos. So you wanna make sure that this is enabled if you want videos to be scraped. To me, that is the most important part of scraping. I think it just brings everything together really nicely, gives it a great look. So with this particular theme I'm using, it gives me a screen as well. So the videos automatically populate into that screen for each title as I scroll through the list. Um, dropping down again, we have fan art, we have the backside of the boxes, uh, map, manual, so most of these I don't actually have enabled. You can you know, enable them or disable them, whatever you wanna do. And now down at the bottom, we have username and password. So this is gonna be where you input your login credentials from where you set up your account on the Screen Scraper website. So let's go ahead and select username. You're gonna go here and enter in your username from the Screen Scraper website when you set up your account. And then you're gonna go into password, do the exact same thing, type in your password. Once all that's in, you're gonna go down and select scrape now. Now that's gonna give you one more page of options before we actually get started. The first one's gonna be filter. So this gives you the option to either, if we go left or right, it'll say all games. This gives you the option to scrape every single game that's on your system. And then the other option by default is only missing media. So this means that if you have games that have already been scraped, you, this current scrape is only gonna scrape the games that have not yet been scraped. So it's a little bit more efficient, probably the way to go here. If you re-scrape a game, it's not going to do any damage or cause any problems. It's just gonna overwrite what's already there. So if you wanna update stuff, that's always an option. Uh, but for the most part, there's really no purpose to go over and overwrite things, you know, unless there's an issue or you wanna make a change. So. Next option down is systems. This is where we can select what systems we're going to scrape. So by default, it's going to do every single system on here, but if you know that you only wanna do specific um, collections, then you can go in here and you know just kind of pick and choose what you wanna do. So right now, everything is selected. I'm actually going to disable most of these just so I can do a quick scrape here for this video and I'm going to just do N64. So I've disabled everything except for N64 here. I'm gonna go down, select back, and you can see here now it says one selected instead of 10. So that means it's only going to be scraping for N64. So once everything is the way you want it to be, you just drop down and hit start. You're gonna notice in the top right corner, it gives you a list of 
um, progress on here. So right now it's on game 10 out of 153, and you can see that it's rapidly moving through here. So some collections go faster than others. N64 is a pretty quick one. That's why I chose to do it here in this demo video today. So we're gonna let it do its thing up there and come back once it's complete. All right, so you can see up here in the top right corner, we're almost done scraping. And now it says scraping finish, update games lists to apply changes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna back out one page. You can hit either the uh, B button on your gamepad controller or escape on your keyboard. That's gonna bring you back to your main menu here. And we're gonna go up to the second option down which says game settings. We're gonna select that top option there under tools says update games lists. So we're gonna select that. It's gonna ask us to confirm. We're gonna hit yes and it's going to update really quickly all of our games. So now if we jump into our N64 collection, which is what we just scraped, you can see that each title now has a video as well as box art in the bottom left corner. It tells us the title of the game, who made the game. We also have a description there and then you can see the rating over there on the uh, far bottom right. So we're just gonna scan through some of these real quick. Now there is audio to these videos, um, but I, have that disabled right now just for the purpose of this video. Um, you can disable that in your audio settings. So if we jumped it back into main menu here and we jumped into our sound settings, you can see down here I have both my front end music disabled as well as my video audio and navigation sounds. So if you're not getting audio, likely these are disabled like they are for me here. Again, I only did this for the purpose of filming this video so these sounds don't drown me out while I'm talking to you guys. So continuing down, you can see everything is nicely scraped. We have the logo on the list there, which is nice. It's much better than a uh, just regular text list in my opinion. So everything is nicely put together on here. So. I'm going to back out and that pretty much concludes this tutorial on how to scrape using Screen Scraper. All right, so as you can see, this is a super straightforward and easy process for scraping games using Screen Scraper. I definitely recommend throwing them a few dollars if you can afford to do so. It's a totally free resource for everybody to use, just like Wikipedia, but at the end of the day, they need to be supported by their users in order to keep going. So I try to support them any way I possibly can all the time. I'm constantly using this resource myself. So I definitely recommend if you're using it for you know larger collections, definitely try to throw them a few dollars, even if it's just a dollar, every little bit helps. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here. If you haven't already, we do tons of videos on here based around retro gaming, product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials like this one that you're watching today. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.